a debate that you can see on Twitter each and every day the last couple days. Will Melo and LeBron play together? Go ahead, Brian. There's a strong interest between them in doing it. I really think that they're going to try to make it work. I don't think it's the be-all, end-all, but these guys have known each other since 2001. That's 13 years. They've loved playing with each other at Team USA. Some of the Melo's best play in his career has been on those Olympic settings. They can offset each other, spell each other, reduce each other's minutes, maybe elongate each other's careers. I don't think... It's what it's, it's priority number one for LeBron, but I think before he makes a decision, he's talking to Melo and seeing who's going. I don't see it happening. It's clearly in the best interest of Carmelo Anthony. I mean, LeBron James is the guy that exactly the guy that you need to play with if you're Carmelo Anthony. To, to, for, for so many reasons, and things that you don't have in your game and shortcomings that you have, LeBron James answers all of those things. So it makes a lot of sense from that standpoint. I just think the best fit for Carmelo Anthony is going to be in Chicago, and I think LeBron James is going to stay in Miami. I think by him opting out, I think what he really did was let the Heat know, hey, what are you going to do to make this a viable situation for me to stay here and play and continue to win? Because I think ultimately he wants to stay where he is. He's in a phenomenal situation. But when you look at what LeBron James has just played with for the last four years, you're talking about a team that no isolation basketball other than himself. The ball moves. They share it. And now you're going to bring in a guy that's a straight isolation player I don't know that LeBron James is dying to play with Melo outside of the personal reasons because of their friendship. You mentioned isolation. Melo averaged 6.6 points per game in isolation this season, most in the NBA. Now, Brian, a couple weeks ago, we heard a report here that Miami was considering yeah. potentially bringing Melo in. Would that work in that scenario down there? Now, that's hard to see because I don't think all four of them are willing to take the kind of pay cuts. It's a possibility. I think the team that's going after it hard is Los Angeles Lakers. I think you may see them do something with their pick and Steve Nash in the next 48 hours or so to try to clear the cap space. And remember, they don't have a coach. It's not all around possibility that they could call up Mike Krzyzewski and say, hey, you want to re uh, set up Team USA where all of you guys were successful? Kobe, LeBron, Carmelo participated in Team USA together. I'm not saying I think it's going to happen. But the Lakers have that at their disposal. They are the ones who only have really Kobe under contract and Bob Sacre, who they could trade off if they had to. It's possible, and they're going to have to listen to it. And, you know, I know you don't think that it's likely, but remember, we're in an era of star movement and star pairing. These guys don't have to compromise on stuff like this. They can try to make stuff like this happen. The idea of that three in Man. L.A.? Well, you know, I, I'm thinking of the Iditarod, right? Sl the dog sled races. There's, there's only two at the front, right? Has there ever been one with three at the front? I, I don't know. That, that's an interesting pairing to imagine, those three personalities all blending together in L.A. Um, the other thing for Carmelo Anthony, I think, stay in the Eastern Conference. I mean, if yeah. you really want to give yourself a chance to win a title or at least get to a final because that's the one thing missing from your resume. Stay in the East. Go to a team like Chicago that's got the infrastructure defensively and the coaching to support you where you can still be a star, get all the touches you want, but win. All right, the big question, of course, will LeBron and Melo play together next season? 62% of you say no. 38% still holding on to that pipe dream. The Lakers are in that 38%. <laughs> yeah, LA just clicking, clicking, clicking. <laughs>